Hey everybody, another episode, another pack, pack a day. Welcome back, okay? Let's go ahead and rip into this and see who we got. First car, long time Yankee second baseman, Willie Randolph. Willie, very strong defensively. Good on base skills. He won a couple of World Series titles with the Yankees in the late 70s. And I know he was on their staff for a long time. I'm willing to bet he won a handful more with them in through the 90s and early 2000s. Willie's probably got five or six rings to his name. Ooh. Mackie Sasser. The hacker. Mackey's famously known for getting the yips. So he's a catcher who, after a collision at home plate, lost the ability to throw the ball back to the pitcher. Didn't have any issues throwing guys out, trying to steal second. Didn't have any issues throwing it across the diamond anywhere, but he couldn't return the ball to the pitcher. And eventually... It ended his career. The good news is that after he retired, he saw a sports psychologist, got his yips figured out, and uh, he's good again, and he's coaching. And he's also trying to help other players who have some sort of mental block that's causing them to have the yips. So Mackey, he's uh, got over his problems, and he's trying to spread some love. Good for him. Ernie Witt, he's a catcher who uh, had a little bit of pop to his bat. A few 20 home run seasons to his name, I believe. Third baseman, Jack Howell. All right, so our next card is a guy who everyone thought was going to go down as one of the all-time greats. Fred Lynn. Fred was the first player in Major League history to win the Rookie of the Year and MVP award in the same season. He was a center fielder. Um, he won a ton of gold gloves. He was amazing those first few years. Looked like a lock for one of the all-time greats, uh, Hall of Fame type guy. But his whole career got derailed by injuries. He played flat out every game. And a fly ball deep to center field. Lynn going way back, way back, and he can't make oh. the play. It's off the wall. Evans will recover, and Lynn is not up. He has been shaken up. One run comes in. Here comes Rose with the second run, and Freddie Lynn is hurt in he the corner in the dead center field. He must have hit his head against that wall, and he is really shaken up. Crashed into walls, dove for balls, and it ended up costing him in the end. Fred Lynn, though, man, those first few seasons with the Sox were phenomenal. Jose Lind. Jose is the dude who broke Ryan Sandberg's streak of consecutive Gold Gloves second place. Jose is also the dude who was caught after a hit-and-run accident and was uh, completely naked. I want to say he might have had a shirt on. But at any rate, hit and run accident, police finally caught up to him, pull him over. He's sitting in the car, butt naked, with uh, a bunch of beer bottles and some Coke. Yeah, Jose. I think he went on to rehab and got himself figured out, so that's good to hear at least. Uh, pitcher, Chuck Krim. He's a reliever. And according to the back of his card, he led the league in appearances in the year 1988. 70 games. Outfielder, Pat Tabler, who I think is the uh, Blue Jays broadcaster now. Maybe it's just me, but Pat kind of looks like a uh, young Glenn Campbell in that picture a little bit. A pitcher. Ed Vandenberg came up with the Mariners. You see him here with the uh, Texas Rangers.
Andre Dawson. We've gotten a couple cards with him on it, but I have yet to truly pontificate on the greatness of the Hulk. You know, you hear stories in sports of guys blowing out their knees, having a surgery, and it just ends their career, or they're never the same. Andre here had 12 knee surgeries over the course of a 20-plus year career. Andre's in the Hall of Fame. He's got 400-plus home runs, 300-plus stolen bases, 500-plus doubles. He won the Rookie of the Year, the National League MVP, uh, gold gloves many times over for defensive excellence. Andre is in the Hall of Fame. I would like to point out that he preferred to go into the Hall with the Chicago Cubs on his hat. And uh, the Hall said no. We're going to put the Expo logo on there. So here's the guy that Topps decided to put on the front the Pirates Team Leaders card for 1989. We've already seen it. Al Padrique. Shortstop, mid-season call-up. For the year 1988, Al hit for a buck 80. Al is uh, better known for being the scout that quote-unquote discovered Jose Altuve. He's the guy who went to the Astros and said, hey, you got to go take a look at this kid. Yes, he's short, but he can play some ball as long as you bang the trash can on off-speed pitches. Pitcher, Dave LaPointe. He played for the Cardinals in 82, which means he has a World Series ring. Good for you, Dave. Another pitcher, reliever, Les Lancaster. He was pitching out of that Cubs bullpen with old Mitch Williams back in uh, 88, 89. Another Hall of Famer, Eck, Dennis Eckersley. Dennis, of course, uh, had success as a starter and a closer. He and uh, John Smoltz are the only two pitchers to have a 20-win season and a 50-save season to their name. He won the uh, American League MVP and the American League Cy Young. He's got a uh, no-hitter to his name. And uh, what else can I say about it? He calls games for the Boston Red Sox now. He was a sidearm guy, had kind of a interesting delivery and just pinpoint accuracy with the ball. That kind of helps as a pitcher. Final card, Astros team leaders card, and that's Glenn Davis. And I think that that's a pretty appropriate choice for the Astros team leaders card. No complaints there. All right. <clears throat> So that was our final card. Here's our stick of gum. Did you guys notice I wore my fancy cactus shirt tonight? Yeah, that's just for you guys. If you like the show, hit the subscribe button for me. Let your friends know if they're baseball nerds like me. Uh, we all sit around for uh, 10 minutes a night and just talk about baseball. Look at baseball cards. It's pretty fun, I think. All right? I'll see you again for another pack. Later.